guess uh, we have to close it uh, during the time uh, limitation. Uh, obviously, uh, listening to all these uh, rich uh, presentations and comments, it's very difficult to, to have a summary uh, of the remarks. Uh, we're going to have a uh, transcript um, and um, provide it uh, to you. Um, just as a uh, quick uh, formula, I think um, if one wants to put it under a rubric of the so-called uh, six uh, P's, the, the letter P, uh, prevent, punish, pursue, prosecute, persuade, and protect. I think this covers uh, both the terrorism uh, challenge um, as well as the uh, non-conventional uh, threat. And uh, NATO is pushing for that, the European Union, the United Nations, and so forth. There is no magic bullet. Uh, obviously, we would have to uh, deal with these challenges in the coming uh, weeks and months and years. And uh, I think uh, the more involvement and engagement of the uh, civic society uh, in this uh, area, uh, the better it is. And therefore, I'm delighted that uh, neighbors uh, play their role now, we have played their role be before, and we want to invite uh, more and more organizations to participate in this uh, dialogue. Uh, now I would like to again present to our colleagues our next report. The seventh P. Oh, seventh. The seventh P, presentation. The seventh P. And uh, at least uh, we would like to invite your, your comments. I think we, we have enough and I'll get you the, uh, the journal as well. Um, it, it gives me again a great uh, pleasure to, to invite my uh, friend and colleague, uh, General David Risk, uh, who is Vice President of the Potomac Institute on Strategy, who is going to make the closing remarks.